So here the question is, five friends P, Q, X, Y, Z purchased some notebooks. The relevant information is given below. So we have uh, five friends. Let's say they have purchased notebooks like P, Q, X, Y, and Z, right? Now Z purchased eight notebooks more than X did. So that means Z is equal to X plus eight, right? Now the second statement says that P and Q together purchased 21 notebooks. That means P plus Q is equal to 21, right? Now third statement is Q purchased five notebooks less than P did. That means Q is equal to P minus five, right? Now fourth statement, say, statement is X and Y together purchased 28 notebooks. That means X plus Y is equal to 28 then finally P purchased five notebooks more than X did that means P is equal to X plus 5 now let me number these equations so th let this be first equation second equation third equation fourth equation and fifth equation right now let's take the second equation and third equation together so why i took second and third together because in both these statements it's uh, the variables are p and q here also the variables are p and q so we can solve these two equations right now so we have like p plus q is equal to 21 then q is equal to p minus 5 okay now what you have to do is we have to subtract second equation from first equation okay so here this is the LHS here this is the RHS so here P plus Q this is the LHS from the first equation minus LHS from the second equation Q is equal to 21 minus P minus 5 right now what we will get P is equal to so here Q and Q will get cancelled right so P is equal to 21 minus P plus 5 right now then we will get so p will come here in this side so we will get 2p is equal to 21 plus 5 26 then p is equal to 30 okay so we got p is equal to 30 so p is equal to 30 okay now then we know that p plus q is equal to 21 okay then p is 30 so q is equal to 21 minus 13 which is equal to 8 so we got q is also equal to 8 so p and q we have solved right now we have see fifth equation we have p is equal to x plus 5 so we got p right p is 13 so that means 13 is equal to x plus 5 then x is equal to 13 minus 5 which is equal to 8 right so x is equal to 8 now we have fourth equation x plus y equal to 28 so x plus y is equal to 28 x is 8 right so 8 plus y is equal to 28 that means y is equal to 28 minus 8 which is equal to 20 so that means y is equal to 20 now finally we need to find out z z is equal to x plus 8 from the first equation so z is equal to x is 8 8 plus 8 is equal to 16 right so z is equal to 16 now the question is if each notebook is priced at rupees 40 then what is the total cost of all the notebooks so how many notebooks are there totally we have to add all these things right so 13 plus 8 plus 8 plus 20 plus 60 how much we'll get 11 19 uh, 25 3 5 6 65 so there are total 65 notebooks right so our total cost is equal to 65 into 40 because one notebook cost 40 so 65 into 40 what we'll get 65 into 4 20 24 26 so 2600 right so our answer is option a 2600